Hey Huns! One thing I can say with my full chest is that TikTok, the app is like, it's, it's, it's ruining my life. It's got me in a chokehold. I am already an easy person to market to. Like, I love a trend. I love a fad. I love a craze with products. Like, I will literally see things and be like, I need that in my life. Anyone that doesn't think TikTok is just like gonna blow up even bigger, I'm gonna be honest, you look like clowns. <laughs> It's gonna just get crazy like it's gonna be bigger than Instagram. I mean a lot of people know that already But do you know what it is? It's the 15 and 16 year olds telling me how I should do my makeup and my hair and everything and telling me what I need to buy and I believe them because I want to be down with the kids and that's what we're doing today I'm gonna be rating things that TikTok made me buy Not proud of it but let's see if they're worth the hype. I spent a lot of I spent a lot of great British pounds on this and uh probably didn't need half this stuff. I'm just a slave to capitalism at this point and it's embarrassing for me. We're gonna see if they're worth the money. Got a lot of got a lot of things going on. And do you know what? I'm gonna blame it on the fact that it's nearly my birthday, so this is kinda like a B-day present to myself. I'm a little bit jealous, I'm a little bit bitter of all the kids that got like Dyson air wraps for Christmas and stuff. Like, am I missing something? You're, you're like actually a millionaire. If your family are buying you Dyson out for Christmas, I'm sorry, I can't. I can't believe it. And you're 15. You're 15, you know. Whatever. Let's just get into it. I'm gonna try them out and rate them. First up, I don't know how to feel. I don't know how to feel. If you had told me in, at any point in the last 10 years that I would have started wearing Uggs again, I would have literally been like, you're crazy. I would have laughed in your face. I'd have been like, never. Never in a million years. I used to see it as fashion suicide, like, I don't know, but something's happened. It's just, honestly, just wear whatever you want because the fact that Uggs are in fashion now just goes to show everything's being recycled. Don't get rid of anything. Keep it all because it's gonna come back round. Like I got rid of my berets like two years ago. Berets are back. I should have kept my beret. I'm fuming, do you know what I mean? Like there's no new ideas anymore. The fact that people wearing Uggs is actually, it's actually, it is a disgrace, but I love it. I can't, I can't lie. I'm enjoying them very much. Let's get them out actually. Woo! I, I'm not gonna lie, I have been wearing them. I just put them back in the box purely for the aesthetic of this video. You know, she's a professional YouTuber now. I got the Ultra Ugg Minis in the shade Antelope. And honestly, 13 year old Sadie is screaming because as if I could have ever afforded Uggs when I was that age. Like seriously, I had the eight pound Primark ones that would slope to the side, yeah. And it would actually be, it would be so, it would be disgraceful. They would be, you'd wear them in the rain down the field. It wasn't pretty and it wasn't cute, but I loved it and I thought I was a shit. She would be screaming at the fact that at the age of 25 she can afford raw Uggs. So I'm going to take it as a win. Like, look at me now. It feels so good to be so young and so successful. That is, that is the pinnacle of success, being able to buy these for myself, to be fair. Yeah, I've come full circle. <laughs> I really enjoy the low ones because I kind of get the separation. Like, I used to wear the high, like the boots that went up the ankle. So when I wear the small ones, I kind of feel like it's a new era. And I love this color because it's not like the bright orange ones, like the antelope are more muted. You can wear them with nudes. I'm just trying to justify them, but one thing Uggs are and will always be is very comfy. Like, I've never owned a pair of real ones. I never put them, they're kind of like hooves. Like, I'm serving Mr. Tumnus. They're not, they're not to everyone's taste. They are like lined, like look inside. They honestly, it feels like you're walking on a cloud. It's the warmest bloody things. Perfect for winter. They do legit look and feel like slippers, but I just feel like it's a flex. I think it's a flex. I think I look cool. People probably disagree. A lot of outfits I've tried to style with them, like white jeans, I've got these nude ribbed like flares, just loungewear, but it's a vibe. There's a few girls on Instagram that are really rocking Uggs so nicely. This girl called Bella Stovey, oh my God, like she is, uh, this, she's iconic. Every outfit she wears, she never misses and she probably was the one that inspired me to get Uggs because she styles them so cool. Very Y2K vibes and also this girl, Lily Grace. Um, she styles them really nicely. She styles them with like leather trousers, big coats, and makes them look so classy. So I'm so for it. Like, getting Luzo, we're going to Narnia. We're going through the wardrobe because Mr. Thomas, 2022 style, catch me in it. What do we think? Will we be rocking the Uggs this season or is it a trend that just needs to die? Let me know. A lot of you were buzzing because you're saying like you wear them as slippers and now you're allowed to wear them out. I'm gonna rate these. Obviously they're very expensive and you probably can get good alternatives. I know Next has good ones that look really similar. You don't need to get the brand if you don't want to. I was just being a brand whore. They're very expensive for what they are. Probably would say they're not worth the money um, if I'm being completely honest. So I would say like get a cheaper alternative but they look really cool so I would rate them out of 10 
for the warmth. I'm gonna give them like a 7.5. I do, I, I'm very, like, it brings me a lot of joy. It brings me a lot of joy. Right, this next one, we all had a massive debate on Insta. If you're not following me on Insta, get over there already. You know, I'm always chatting some shit on there. Obviously, look, look, I do like the Dyson Air app. I've used my housemates one, I do like it. There is still a limit to some things I will spend. Like, even if I do have the money, I'm not spending 450, I'm just not doing it. Like, it physically cannot leave my bank account. I just don't, I can't justify it. And I know that there's some hardcore fans. And do you know what? Even a hairdresser the other day said to me, he was like, you, your hair type doesn't work with it. Especially because my hair is so straight. It just doesn't give what it needs to give. If it was, if it was like 200, I might, I might. But also, I could just use Meg's one if I ever need to, you know, if she doesn't mind. But I was like very intrigued to see if there was a dupe. It seems like on TikTok, a lot of people were blowing up this product. Sorry, again, I have already opened the box. It's the Revlon like hot brush and people are saying it's kind of a dupe for the attachment that has the brush. And obviously it's literally 10 times the price, 10 times cheaper. Yeah, it's this is 40 pound, the Dyson Arch 450. I literally failed math so many times, but you know what I'm saying. So I was like, let's see what's going on. Again, I looked, watched all these tutorials. Girls had this like big 90s blowout. That's exactly what I want. As you can see, my hair is a bit wet, but it's drying quickly. My hair is just very flat and straight, and I just want the opposite. I want that old VS big bl bouncy blur. It's so hard to achieve on your own. So I think that's why people love that sort of air wrap look. I bought it on Aldi, actually. You know, Aldi just never fails me. £40. <sighs> I did try it out. Look, I don't want to be too sceptical about it. I don't know if I did it right, so I've watched more tutorials. We can try it out on camera, and then I'll give my final opinion at the end. This is how it looks. It's pretty big, you know, and it's like kind of like little bristles, like actually like a round brush. I actually do use just a brush like this when I blow dry my hair, and it does work quite well. It just is quite time consuming. So this, I thought I could actually get a curl, but it is so big. But it blows out air, just like the air app. So you sort of dry it as you, you know, volumize and curl it. It has this tip so you can hold it like this. And I just, I was very intrigued. I haven't tried anything like this. It's like a hot, medium hot, cold air and then off. And it's really easy to like use and pick up the hair. So it is a good product. I like the handle. I like how big it is. One thing I will say that did panic me like a lot, a lot of people messaged saying it really damaged their hair and... I really take pride in looking after my hair. Like I really use a lot of products to keep it healthy and I've been on a hair growth journey for like my whole life. So I don't want to get a product that completely ruins it, but I don't know. Like, can it be worse than curlers? I curl my hair all the time. Like if, surely if you put heat protect, it's fine, but it does freak me out. I don't want to get split ends. Like, come on now. I'm gonna like separate my hair into sections. I have used heat protect. We're just gonna see what happens. It is bloody loud. So I doubt I'm gonna be able to talk while I do it. So I'll probably speed it up and then talk in between. I know a lot of you were intrigued to see a review. I'm gonna get my cardigan off because I can feel like it's gonna get really fucking hot in here. Yes, it's so big. You can really like get a big section and let's just put it on. Okay, so it does dry, like you can hear it's like it is really drying and it does smooth through your hair quickly because these are so soft, like it doesn't get caught, it just, it does feel very satisfying to go like this um, and it just feels really dry now, but can you see like, it just looks like a normal hair dry, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, like there's no curl, I don't really see that much volume yet, but maybe that's because I'm only doing the bottom of my hair, maybe I'm meant to like hold it on for longer, but I would say it's very like user friendly, it's very easy to use. <laughs> quite nice and like thick so far I'm just like not convinced it looks the same as my normal hair dryer however I'm not holding it enough or my I don't have the right hair type I mean it's fun to use I just I don't know if it's doing a lot for me I don't, I don't know what do you think so far it just looks straight right okay now I've nearly done the top. I can see a little bit more of an improvement. Like it does look fluffy and like bigger, but I feel like hopefully the top gives the most volume. There's no curl, there's no curl, like nothing, not even a little dent. I feel like from my round brush I would have got more. Maybe I'm being, am I, am I a hater? I just, 
I feel disappointed. Like, I bought this and I'm like, I don't know. So with the top, apparently one tip is to go, like, back with the brush. I was going sidewards. Apparently at the most, most volume, you go backwards. Which I feel like could definitely help. I'm gonna go like this. <laughs> Hmm. Not sure I'm feeling the fantasy yet, guys. definitely did the most like it changed the hair a lot but that's because I think I have short layers does it look any different like does it look any different to what it looked like at the start of this video feels nice like it doesn't feel damaged at all I did put a lot of heat protect on but it feels like smooth like you've got a smooth blow dry I feel like if your hair is naturally a bit frizzy or got a slight curl on like mine which is poker straight probably be so good for you because it will smooth that frizz as you're sort of doing it and you probably will have the hair type to get a bit more volume than me so it probably would work unreal on that kind of hair if you have poker straight hair past blow drying i wouldn't say it does a lot and i'm really sad because i've really bought into this fantasy i mean i like my hair like this like this is just how i would normally have my hair if i didn't curl it but it doesn't doesn't give what it needed to give bit of a shame i would probably rate it for me personally like a 3.5 out of 10 like i'm not happy with it i'd love to hear if you've tried it and love it because a lot of people said they did also if anyone wants to buy this off me yes my hair has been on it but i can sort of wipe that I'm happy to sell it for cheaper than I got it, so please DM me on Instagram because there's no point in me having this hair tool that could go to a better home. So yeah, sadly the red one brush ain't doing it for me. Thanks a lot TikTok. Thanks a lot Rachel. Okay, so next up, not this particular product I got from TikTok, but just the perfume. I'm on fragrance talk at the moment. Like I love when people describe fragrances or they do like what characters from TV shows would wear which fragrance and things like that. Everyone just dies over the Ariana Grande ones. Like, I literally love Cloud. I loved God is a Woman. And I just spread this on boots and it's like a little Christmas cracker thing. I got it in the sale, Boxing Day sales, of her minis of all the ones I haven't tried. Like Ari, R-E-M and Sweet Like Candy. And I just saw a TikTok the other day that apparently Ari is like gorgeous and everyone dies over it. So I thought this was a fun way for me to try the fragrances. And also they're just so sweet. Like look at the little bottles. Come like this. Oh my God, they're actually the cutest thing and like so nice for traveling. I'm gonna try the Ari one first, which is the one that looks like this. I'm pretty sure one of these has that little fluffy pom-pom thing on the like big bottle. Does it not have a spray? Huh, they just come like that without a spray, which I don't really... Mmm, that is nice. I'm just gonna have to, I guess, go like that on my wrist. I don't know how I'm gonna try all of them. I don't know how to feel. That is not what I was expecting, because everyone always goes on about it, and I'm gonna be honest, I'm not feeling it. I'm gonna let it settle, but I don't even know what it's giving. It's like not sweet, but not vanilla-y and not fresh it's like, i don't i don't want to be horrible it smells quite generic like i don't know i'm gonna let it settle because i don't want to be a bitch okay so ari is meant to be i'm on the perfume shop website sparkling fruits feminine floral with musks and wood and marshmallow last so long very fresh and fruity yeah yeah i would say it's fresh yeah it's just fresh cute like feminine yeah that's how i would describe it yeah okay i feel like i do like quite sexy sense and to me like cloud and god is a woman is like when you smell it it's like that gorgeous like vanilla -y, like oh like delicious when i've wore both of them people always comment obviously they are kind of like a dupe for mason francis what's it fucking called baccarat rouge it does smell just like that i'm gonna try rem on a different part of my they're probably all gonna merge together oh oh rem's kind of like a bit more I don't want to say manly, but but it's, yeah, it's more masculine. I quite like masculine smells, if I'm honest. I don't know why. I like to smell like a boy. Because I don't ever smell boys anymore. <laughs> so I think all of her fragrances have that marshmallowy scent. But this one has pear blossom, lavender, white musk, lavender essence. I can definitely smell the lavender. I like this one more. I like R.E.M. more. Yeah. 
Sorry, it's taken me a while to like really gather my thoughts about this. I don't want to say something I regret, you know. Next, the last one I have is Sweet Like Ari. Or Sweet Like Candy, it's called. So I'm guessing it's going to smell like candy, right? Wow, this one's got more people like this. 95% of people like this one. Yeah, they all have marshmallow. That must be her like signature thing. Sugar frosted blackberries, bergamot, marshmallow, and vanilla. Oh, I reckon I like this one more because I like vanilla. Velvety layers of cream de cassis. Sexy vanilla. Oh, get it on me right now. I feel like this is going to be more my thing, just from the description. I have to chill. Whatever that description was, that does not smell like that. Oh, wait, 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 it's settling. It's way nicer when it's settling. Let's see if all, the, all of them, when they settle, smell good. That's my least favourite, Ari. Then I like Rem. Okay, the candy one's the best. Candy one is the best by far. I must look like an insane person. That was fun to try them and for the price it was so good. So like overall as a product, I'm gonna give it like a 6.5 out of 10. Like you get to try them before you buy the big bottles. You get quite a good amount of them and they're cute little bottles to have in your room. All a nice scents, but they're not scents that I would particularly like go out and buy. So I'm glad I got the little ones. I'm still gonna stand by that cloud and God as a woman are way better than these. If you're gonna get one, get sweet like candy. Okay, this next one, probably the one I am most, ugh, I'm just buzzing, I'm so happy I got my hands on this. I feel like you all know what it is, like you can't do a rate and things TikTok made me buy without featuring this product because it just blew up, especially around like November, Christmas time and it lived in my head rent free from the moment I saw it and that is, <gasps> yes, yes, yes I did, I did spend 30 pounds on a lip oil and I'm uh, hopefully I don't regret it hopefully I don't regret it but like can we just Dior put their whole Dior pussy into this <laughs> packaging look at it you can opt to get um different packaging but the gift wrap is completely free I, is it free I might have just lied I don't think it's free I think I paid for it but it's I mean it's worth it because I am that creepy person that keeps boxes what is this look the receipt is in like a whole Dior like envelope. When you grow up poor, things like this, I just really appreciate. And like, I don't care if it looks tacky if I have that in my room, but I'm gonna leave it in my room and I don't care. You can all judge me if you want, but I have never, ever been happier. We need to talk about euphoria as well because euphoria just, it's for another day, but I'm living for it. This is just everything and more. Like boys, boys, for Valentine's or any birthdays, anything, please just get your girl this. You can get them also like embellished with people's initials. I just thought it's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls. Our material girls, even if they don't have the money. No, I did not. No, I did not. What is wrong with me? This is why I don't have nice things because I'm literally an idiot. But yeah, so you open it and it looks like this. There we go, a little deal. No, I'm not gonna lie, I forgot I did this, but it's kind of funny. So I literally wrote myself a little gift note saying to me, from me. Am I actually okay? I mean, it's cute, but like, why did I do that? Like, what? Who Who made me like this? Who made me this extra? But yeah, thank you very much, Sadie. And then it has the little Dior sticker and you open it up and then that. On like a bed of like, honestly, this lip gloss has a comfier bed than me. Like the bed this flat came with, this crusty little duvet, is probably un more uncomfy than the bed inside of this for my Dior lip oil. And that just says everything it needs to say. Yeah, this is how the product looks. Why can I not? Dior Lip Addict, Dior Addict Lip Glow Oil, um, Cherry Oil it Infused. I got the shade Cherry, because I saw a girl, she had like a brown lip liner and then the shade Cherry and, oh, I just really feel special right now. Like I really feel like I'm like, I can join the club. Like I can be that bitch, that girl now. It is just like gorgeous. It's a work, God, gorgeous, gorgeous girls burp while they're opening their Dior lip oil. Oh. Look at that, ASMR. God, obviously it is actually like an oil. I'm gonna need to get this off, aren't I? But so far it looks very red. It's probably not what I wanted, but it's here now. I'm not sending it back, so I better fucking like it. So I've just got my lip gloss off, um, but I still have like the remnants of lip liner on. But we're just gonna do the first. What does it smell of? I don't like the smell. I thought it would smell nicer, I don't know. I like this fat off brush. <gasps> mm. That feels really nice. Mm. 
Okay, it's not as dark as I thought it was going to be. This is actually really cute. Just trying to blend that lip liner in. It smells like mint, which I don't really like. I mean, it's not like a deal breaker. Mmm. What do you think? What do you think? I like it a lot. I actually really, really like it. <gasps> this colour is pretty. I don't have anything like this either because if it was like the pink or the nudes, like rosewood, I think the colour that everyone else gets, maybe I would have been like, mm, it's too similar to my other products. I'm going to be honest, I do have one from Collection. Collection Lip Spa Lip Oil. Obviously, the packaging isn't as aesthetic, but it is, I think, like £2, so... Get yourself over to collection if you don't want to spend money because it is a really good product. But I already had that in nude, so I'm kind of glad I got this in the cherry. I wonder how long it lasts because obviously it is an oil, like it's like a glossy product. But I just think it looks really pretty. Obviously, it's going to be moisturizing. So if you're like me who gets super, super dry lips, um, I just feel kind of like glamorous. When right, I'm first class up in the sky. <laughs> like I'm going to feel like the bougiest bitch being like, Material girl. That is not how the song goes. I'd probably rate it again like a seven. Do I think it's worth the money? Probably not. Um, <laughs> you can see it's a running theme. It, all this stuff is very expensive and just a bit ridiculous, if I'm honest. Like thirty pound for a lip oil. Like it was silly. It was frivolous and silly, and I shouldn't have probably bought it. But it was fun, and I like it, and I'm gonna use it. Six point five a seven. I would say you can definitely get dupes that are probably just as good. But if you do want to get someone a present like i feel like this would be such a nice present maybe not something to buy for yourself but like it's one of those things that you want to have but you don't want to spend so if someone else buys it you're like oh thank you you know what i mean so any boys watching i'm sure your girl or your wife would really appreciate it it is a very luxurious nice thing but i don't know if i would rebuy if i'm honest all right we're nearly finished the video but i feel like this is the product oh it's called the soul the Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. And I remember being like really immature and laughing at the fact that it was called Bum Bum. I got the small one. The first thing you will notice is the smell. I'm not gonna lie. It is probably up there with the top 10 like smells I've smelled my life. Like it is absolutely divine. It smells like summer. Like it smells like a holiday. Like it's one of those smells that definitely will make you nostalgic for things that you can't quite put your finger on. And I love smell. I love and kind of hate smells like that because especially if i've worn them around a certain person those smells will always make me think of that person like honestly cloud perfume i'm really sad i actually can't wear cloud anymore because it reminds me of you know who so i used to wear it to his house I, i've literally barely got any left because i i didn't i wanted to save it oh like look i really really pummeled through it and it, it feels different like it goes on smoother you know when some are a bit like heavy and don't blend into your skin it, it feels like whipped like it's so creamy and nice and it, it just it is really really incredible product i really like the branding i like the look of it the one thing i hate is the price like a body cream has no business of being like 40 pound or i think for the normal one it's 18 and the big one is 44 i'm smelling it and i'm like finding it hard to be like it's too expensive because it is it's fucking nice like it's actually delicious and it feels amazing and oh, I don't think, again, I could justify £18 on a body cream or £40 on a body cream. But I would like to hope that one time in my life, I will be able to justify it. Because if you think about it, we spend it on, like, perfume. We spend way more on perfume, um, hair products, skincare. Like, I've literally got a cream that I spent £40 on for my face. So why am I not doing the same for my body? I think it's the volume we use for, for our bodies. Like, I'll get through that really quickly and I'll be like, oh, crap, i got to keep rebuying. So maybe it would be, like, as a treat, like... Or if you're going somewhere nice and you cream your body and it's like this ritual you do but it's not your everyday one. Maybe I could justify it because I'm not going to lie, I, I'm finding it hard to say a bad thing about it because it is incredible and it is really worth the hype. Let me know in the comments, are any of these prices justifiable? Could you spend £18 on a body cream? Again, it's something that I want to be given as a gift. Some brands are just premium, they're meant for gifts, they're not meant for like everyday use and that's absolutely fine. Obviously when I'm a rich trophy wife, I will be getting my husband to buy me this by the bucket it and i will smell like this because that's the lifestyle but in my lifestyle right now probably not like probably i'm just happy with the body shop one i would probably rate it i'm gonna give it like a i'm gonna give it the highest rate it's like i would say it's like an eight out of ten it is fucking amazing but thank you so much for watching this video um i hope it gave you some insight into the tiktok fad products at the moment let me know what you thought let me know if you're gonna get any of these products or if you agree with any of my opinions or disagree you know i like to have a healthy debate on my channel have the best week i'll see you all very very soon hopefully i can stop buying things from tiktok because my bank account is crying right now but yeah love you